What's up everybody, it's your boy Q Hicks and I'm back with another video breaking down the most dangerous dark horse teams in each region in the NCAA tournament. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's dive into it. In the Midwest region, Miami. Miami is a team that can spread you out with their five out style of play. Cam Augusti is a first team all ACC player and guards Charlie Moore and Isaiah Wong can make plays with the clock running down. They are 27th in offensive rating in the nation and four players shoot over 37% from three. They are used to playing in close games and they don't turn the ball over, but their weakness is size and rebounding. Playing a tough USC team with length in the first round could be problematic, but guards win games in March and I believe in Miami's more than USC's, even though Boogie Ellis could be hard to stop. And if they get to the second round against a struggling two seed in Auburn, I would favor Miami to go to the Sweet 16. In the East region, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is arguably the hottest team in college basketball, riding the momentum of an ACC championship right into the tournament. They have won 13 of their past 15 games. They knocked off tournament teams in Duke, Notre Dame, and UNC in the process. Wofford transfer Kevin Aluma is the key to the offense being the inside outside threat while they spread the offense out with shooters shooting almost 40% from three as a team. Playing a stingy Texas defense in the first round could seem difficult but the tournament comes down to who can make more shots and Texas has a tough time scoring at times. And assuming Purdue makes it to the second round could be another difficult task because of their size and Jaden Ives explosiveness. But Virginia Tech shooting could be the great equalizer for a deep tournament run. In the South region, Loyola Chicago and Michigan. I don't really consider Loyola Chicago a Cinderella anymore. They have been here before going to the Final Four in 2018 and winning a couple of games last season. They have the tools to do the same this year. They have a new coach, but they have the same core from a season ago. They are 23rd in total net rating, being third among mid-majors. Offensively, they always execute at a high level. Five players shoot over 39% from the three, and guard Lucas Williamson is a two-time MVC Defensive Player of the Year, leading Loyola's defense to be just as stifling as it's been in past years. A favorable matchup with Ohio State leaves them as the favorite, but a potential matchup with Villanova would be interesting because of their similar style of plays on both sides. And Michigan is another interesting case. When diving deep into the tournament bracket, you always want to look for a talented team that has disappointed throughout the season, and Michigan fits the bid. UCLA is a great example from a season ago, and they ended up in the Final Four. Michigan is capable of beating anybody in this tournament, and Hunter Dickinson is one of the best bigs in the country, and guard Devontae Jones has really come on at the end of the season, and is averaging almost 17 points and 6 assists in his last 5 games. They have NBA talent all over the roster and an experienced coach in Jawan Howard that went to the Elite Eight last year. They are favored in their first round matchup against Colorado State and will most likely play the hottest team in college basketball in Tennessee in the second round. But like I said before, they have talent and experience to beat anyone. And lastly in the West region, UConn. Speaking of ultra talented teams, UConn ranks right up there with the best. They have size, athleticism, talent to match up with any team in the country. They have wings that can defend and crash the glass, and Dan Hurley gets it done at Connecticut. Huskies lead guard RJ Cole plays unafraid. Adam Sanogo is the most important player because of his interior presence on both sides of the ball. Plus, Tyrese Martin's two-way ability makes UConn a tantalizing pick to make it to the second weekend. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I really rock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and definitely let me know what you would like to see next. And we out.